All right, so on this video, I'm gonna go over how to navigate in the graph editor. I'm not gonna go over all the functions of the graph editor because it's a really big topic. Just navigating in the graph editor is something that a lot of beginner Maya users tend to have trouble with. And it's really important when you get to a point where you're refining your animation and you're using the graph editor to, to modify your curves, your animation curves. So I just have the head selected for this character. I have some animation from a previous tutorial that I did. And it's just blocked in animation for now, but um, this is the point where I would start refining it. We just have the character flying in from behind the billboard and he flies toward camera. So say I select the root control, which is something I would probably, I would probably start refining the root first. When I select the control, you'll see the curves in the graph editor, but they kind of go off screen or off the graph editor and you can't see everything. So if I select the, the translate X, for example, you can see there's a bit of a, there is a, some animation on that curve because it dips down below the, the zero line but we can't really modify it's hard to modify because it looks very flat first thing you want to do is frame that curve because we have the translate X on the root control uh, selected in the graph editor here we can just press F on the keyboard that'll frame selected the same way it does in your Maya environment here as long as the graph editor panel is activated if we press F it'll just frame that curve now we can edit it more easily because we can see that the, the dip in the curve uh, a lot better this way you want to use the, the pan function and the zoom function. To pan in the graph editor, the same way you pan in the perspective window, you just hold down alt on your keyboard and it's middle mouse button to pan around. So you're going to want to do that to move around in the graph editor while you're editing your curves. You also need to be able to zoom. So zoom is also hold down alt and it's right mouse button. And if you continue to hold alt down, you can middle mouse button pan and right mouse button zoom. So panning and zooming. And once you get the hang of that, you'll want to be able to scale your graph editor. So that's also very handy. So I'm going to select the translate Y, for example. Again, that goes off frame. So now this time, to scale your graph editor, you're going to hold Alt and Shift down at the same time. And then you'll use your right mouse button. And then you can move the mouse up and down. So now we can scale the graph editor to see the curve differently. Now the curve isn't actually changing. We're just changing the view of the graph editor. So that's up and down, and then you can move it right and left also to see that curve differently. So if we combine all those, Alt, middle mouse button to pan, continuing to hold Alt down, right mouse button to zoom in, and then holding down Shift and Alt with the right mouse button pressed, we move the mouse up and down, right and left to scale. And you're using all those in combination to move around in the graph editor and edit your curves. So it takes a little bit of practice to get the pan, zoom, and scaling down and using them in combination with each other. They'll come in handy to just navigate around your graph editor as you're editing curves. That's it for this one. Talk to you guys later.